Hi, my name is Phoenix and this is TFL Design and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. But first, story time! So, I don't know if you care, but I'm telling you anyway. I fell in love with a few pieces from the 2023 Spring Summer Ferragamo collection. It was a new creative director, it was a new look and feel for the brand, rejuvenated it a little bit. And I already have the bag that I really wanted from the collection. You can watch my other video for that. There's a long story of how I got that in Japan and how hard it was to find. And one of the other things I wanted from this collection were the amazing Ganshini heels. Um, I am not really like a big sandal person, so I'm definitely going to be wearing socks or stockings wearing these. But I had been eyeing them for a long time. However, unlike handbags, I do feel a lot of wear and tear go into shoes since you like put them on the ground and stuff. And I don't necessarily wear heels very often, especially when I'm not going into the office. But I don't even think these are like good office shoes because due to the height and I wear a lot of heels and uh, platforms for boots and stuff, but there's like much more support than sandals. But I figured I'm going to be going to a few weddings soon anyway, so that was my excuse to finally pull the trigger. But I really wanted to get it like on sale because the price to it at full price, uh, Canadian dollars, as you can see on the official site, it's kind of up there. It's like, you know, half of what I bought the bag for. So I wanted to see if I could, you know, find some place, any place that would, you know, sell it at a discount. I had gone to a few sites that did have them, but they were always like not in my size if they were super discounted. This is usually because they have a hard time selling the last stocks of, you know, like size five and a half for tiny, tiny feet or something. So no luck there until I landed on this site, giglio.com. Um, I did have to look up like whether it's legit or not because I couldn't believe the price. When I first saw it, it was actually 60% off, but I didn't pull the trigger then. I finally decided to buy it like two weeks after I'd seen it and it went to 50% off. So I lost out a bit, but as you can see, which is angering me even more, um, it is now 50% off plus an additional 25% off uh, because they really want to get rid of stock. So if you want to get this and you happen to be a size eight, go for it now, I guess. It took forever for FedEx to get here because for some reason it was like delayed in France and then for some reason the 20 minutes I decided not to be next to my phone, FedEx had decided to come and visit and decided to deliver it then and uh, because I didn't hear my phone ring I wasn't able to pay the duties right away which is weird because usually FedEx emails you to pay duties but whatever. And yeah, here it is. So it didn't take forever it only took a little bit over two weeks i'm just being dramatic because of the four days it spent delayed in france however i'm not sure whether it was the way it was boxed or the extra traveling time and whatnot you can see that the shoe is slightly um, creased i wouldn't be surprised if this was even the floor model since it seems to be just the right foot that seems to have a bit more wear than the other one once again, it could have been the way it was boxed and there was a little bit of pressure on it. I'm pretty sure I can just put some leather lotion on it and smooth it out if I uh, stuff the sandal a little bit to give it to shape back. But it doesn't really bother me because like I said, I plan on wearing these shoes and I don't plan on babying it since the steps on the ground and poop and stuff. They are made of real leather, of course, and the most striking thing about it is definitely the Ganshini heel design. Um, that's their like symbol logo thing and it just makes it so different from any other shoe I've seen. I don't really like to wear super super tiny high heels because I'm afraid of breaking my ankles but I tried these out in store to see if I would fit them and the feel of it is fine. I would just need a little bit of practice of course. When I tried this out in the boutique um, the sales associate said that because it's like a runway piece that isn't as popular for people as the black version with the gold heels. Um, these were harder to find and so finding these and obtaining them in the size that I need was definitely a win. But yeah, like I love these. They're beautiful and um, yeah, that's it for the unboxing, I guess. 
Okay, guys, I will see you next time. This has been Phoenix. Um, yeah, like and subscribe and visit me on my Instagram. Bye-bye.